I'm Tina Beck Pina. Latinos are the largest minority in the United States, and we used to have the lowest education levels. But when you get an organization like Aspida and Mark Gonzalez in the picture, our education levels aspire to get even higher. Aspira to me is, is a family. They show us different life skills. To me, Aspira is a place where I can come and I can have fun and I can talk to my friends, but at the same time, I can make sure I get my homework done so that my grades are good. Aspira is the um, premier Latino youth development organization in the country. We've been around 54 years, founded in 1961 by Dr. Antonia Pantojas and a group of Puerto Rican educators. And at that time, they founded the organization because of lack of services for Puerto Rican young people and their families. And we've metamorphosized in the last 54 years. And we've had impact in the Latino community, but not only the Latino community. That's really important. We serve about 65% Latino and about 30% African American, and then we have 5% other ethnicity. So we're a diverse and inclusive organization. And we know the work we do um, impacts young people's lives. And um, our four pillars are uh, college access, leadership development, service learning, and parent empowerment. And that's really the foundation of all the work that we do in all of our programs. I actually now work for Aspira, so um, actually I'm proud of myself that I'm able to still work in the business that I used to actually go to after school with. It's the best program. Um, we provide all type of services. Um, sometimes we may not have all the help that we need in our homes, so our speed um, serves as a second home to a lot of our students. I can really relate to the young people, and I, I was part of Aspira and Kennedy. I'm an aspirante, so I'm, I'm a product of Aspira. So that's one of the reasons I came back to Aspira. I've been with Aspira 14 years. I began as a program director. Junior high school, I became the director in that part of the Bronx, so that was exciting. And then I actually uh, went to the Department of Education for a few years, and I came back as a chief program officer. And now to be the CEO, executive director, I'm like, wow, this is a whole different level. A Lehman College graduate, Gonzalez credits the importance of the City University of New York when it comes to aspirantes. CUNY's been a great supporter of Aspira. They host our city youth conference. They provided scholarship money for young people who go on to CUNY. About 70 to 75 percent of our aspirantes go to a CUNY college once they graduate. So it's been just a great support system. The highly successful Aspira program has grown to become a national movement with several branches across the U.S. that have helped over 600,000 students achieve success in and outside of the classroom. So many young people would be so lost if it wasn't for organizations like Aspira. It was through Aspira that gave me the motivation of saying, yeah, you know what, I want to finish high school and I'm going to go to college and I'm going to give back to my community. Once an aspirante, always an aspirante. When you see young people come back and share their stories of success and wherever they come to, it's, uh, it's humbling. It's a humbling experience and, and it's a orgullo that you know you're impacting society. Talent is spread out equally throughout the world. Opportunities are it. And education is about opportunities, giving young people opportunities to really realize their dreams. And that's what we're about. Mm -hmm.